let's blame individualism. 15 December 2016. The world is what it is today because of individualism. These were the words of my macroeconomics lecturer Prof Chetty. Before presenting the lecture of the evening, Prof Chetty normally gave a talk on a topic that was not related to our syllabus. I was so intrigued when he spoke about individualism. He made an astonishing claim about how the root of all things, be it wars, unemployment, poverty, etc., were merely caused by individualist behaviors of people. He then went on and said economics teaches us individualism, meaning economics teaches us that people behave in an individualist manner. For example, firms in all industries are basically in business to maximize their individual profits and minimize their costs. An entrepreneur may start a business to eventually accumulate individual wealth. A parent may send their child to the best schools to hopefully rip the reward in future. And a politician may campaign for people's vote to eventually end up with a relatively better job and have state privileges. In essence, we are all doing things that will benefit us in the end, since most people want to be better than the next. According to Wayne Nafziger, the concept of individualism was brought to light in the 18th century by Adam Smith who claimed that in a competitive economy, an individual acting on his or her self-interest will promote public interest. This means self-interest has an invisible hand that unintentionally impacts the welfare of society. I agree with Smith that individualistic behaviors tend to benefit the public in a sense that it encourages innovation, entrepreneurship, accumulation of skills, and to some extent good governance. However, Smith and other economists from the classical school suggest that the economy is self-fixing. Therefore there is no room for government intervention, which is not the case in the real world, because the government plays a pivotal role in all economies. On the flip side, most social problems are rooted by individualism. Self-interest makes people think they are superior to others. It can fuel greed and drive people into becoming less reliant of each other. Hence, we live in a world filled with wars, hate and injustice. Every religious group thinks it is better than the next. Every race thinks highly of themselves. This individualistic thinking even spills over to gender and age groups. Essentially, individualism makes people less tolerant of each other, which tarnishes world peace. As Mother Teresa said, if we have no peace, it is because we have forgotten that we belong to each other. Interestingly, in psychology there is a phenomenon called the priming effect, whereby exposure to one stimulus influences a response to a subsequent stimulus, without conscious guidance or intention. According to Daniel Kahneman, Research showed that money prime people become more independent than they would be without the associative trigger. The general theme of these findings was the idea that money primes individualism. If this is the case, then my lecturer was correct in suggesting that economics teaches us individualism. To be frank, I appreciate the fact that we live in a world that has room for independent thinkers. We cannot always conform to the norm nor constantly follow trends as it threatens evolution. Therefore, I encourage individual innovation, entrepreneurship, and accumulation of skills, so that we can hopefully have a positive impact on society. However, it is imperative to remember that we need each other and never allow the spirit of Ubuntu, or humanity, to die. After all, Smith argued that people are self-interested, but naturally like to help others. A special thanks to Prof. S. Chetty for inspiring this topic.